Huh? Play my fur at least again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, different, huh? Okay, okay, yeah. Fur at least, ah, that one easier. Jessly from Property Lim Brothers. Today we are in District 23. We have a freehold project called Park Natura. So this is just right opposite Bukit Batok Nature Park. We have a four bed, three bath with dual balcony standing at 1743 square feet to show you. So stay tuned to find out more. Let's go. So just some quick facts about Park Natura. This is in District 23. This is a freehold project, TOB in 2011. This is built by the developer called Singland. So under their hands, they have a couple of more notable projects. So they have a total of 192 over units spread across four different blocks of which all these are low rise. The highest level is on the level six, but all these are of the penthouses layout. So if you're wondering where this condominium project is located, this is District 23. We we are off the main road called the Upper Bukit Timah Road. Right opposite is where you can find Bukit Timah Nature Park. We are in between two MRT stations, namely Hillview and Beauty World MRT. So if you are parents with young kids, you will be pleased to know that we are walking distance to the preschool. Within two kilometer radius of where we are, there are five different primary schools, of two of which are the more notable one, namely Bukit Timah Primary School and Peihua Presbyterian Primary School. So now let's dive into the floor plan of where we are standing on. Total, this is a 1743 square feet, 4 bader. You have a spacious combined living and dining together with an enclosed kitchen, together with your yard space with a home shelter which can act as a helper's room, not forgetting the powder room. In total, you have 4 bed, 3 bath, of which 2 are in the common bedrooms and 2 of them are the junior and the grandmaster room. Not forgetting you have dual balconies which can be found in the living and the master bedroom. So fun fact that this stack that we are on is on a stack 19. So if you look at the whole row of it, even though we are situated right in the middle of the condo, everyone is a corner unit. So you do have the added privacy such that you know no one will be walking outside the corridor. So the owners have spent close to 100,000 in terms of the renovation, namely all the carpentry, all the aircon and the lighting. So all these have been nicely revamped and even though they have stayed only for five years, all these are still in pristine condition. So if you take a look at the combined living and dining, it's still cladded with this marble which they have already polished it so it's gonna be great for you to save on renovation costs as a new homeowner. What I really love about this living room is it's really squarish in size so this is where they place the TV console. Right across the owners have done this as their workstation or the carpentry has been done up nicely. You have lots of storage space right above and all these are of a bloom system soft closing as well. Likely if you are going to take over this space perhaps what you can do as a new homeowner is to replace this, do up a full high TV console with carpentry so that you can put in more stuff and then right across is where you can fit in an L-shaped sofa. So orientation wise, we are looking at South. If you're someone who is very good at hunting homes, you'll know that the entire of Singapore is always looking for North-South orientation because it allows a lot of cross ventilation. The owners have already installed all these invisible girls. All these are still in very good condition. They have also installed all these blinds. So likely if you want to shelter away from the sun or from the rain, just need to bring this down. So if you take a look at this whole entire spacious balcony here, for you to have an alfresco dining over here while you take a look at the pool. The owners have also installed some of the carpentry here so they allow storages for them to put some of the gardening items. And one thing you want to note is usually when you buy from developers, the balcony is just plain old white. They have put in quite a bit of details in terms of the ceiling. Just take a look at this. All these are like wooden parquet. Even the fence, all these are nicely chosen with 
this sort of a resorty feel. So even though this project is only 192 over units, they have everything that you want in a normal condo here. You have your lab pool, your barbecue pits, there is a gym and one of the things that you want to note is there is even like two tennis courts right in this condominium project itself. So the whole of Upper Bukit Timah area has been in the news article because of the up and coming integrated development called the Reserve Residences by Far East Organization. So this is an integrated development which consists of 800 over units. This just newly launched this year. The TOP date is stipulated to be 2028. Now just a quick glimpse of the four beta over there. They are only going at 1,400 over square feet of which those units are sold at an average of 2,300 over PSF, selling at a quantum of 3.4 to 3.6 million dollars. So for those owners who have just bought into these new launches, they will likely be looking at a profit of 2 300 dollars PSF in increment. So this will make up to a future potential pricing of close to 4 million dollars when they're looking to exit in the near future. On top of that, you want to note that even though this is an integrated development, there is only a 99 year leasehold project. So just back in 2020, there is also an upcoming new launch which was fully sold during the launch day. It's called the Link at Beauty World. So that project will complete by 2025. It's a total of 120 units of which all of these are freehold. Those owners have bought into a price tag of 2001 to 2002 over dollars for PSF. And the layout for the four bathers, there are only about 1,300 over square feet. The developer has sold them at 2.7 to 2.9 million dollars. So for owners who are looking to exit the project in the near future, they will be likely looking at a $300 kind of increment for the PSF, bring your entire selling price to $3.4 million and above. So what it means for you as a homeowner in Park Natura is that you are buying into the size. There is a 4 bader above $1,700 over square feet. We are well below the PSF of below $2,000. So you have a huge disparity in terms of the gap between yourself and those people who have bought into the new launches at Beauty World MRT Station when they are looking to exit at the near future you have a disparity for your project to grow towards too So moving on to your dining area one thing that you want to take note is that there are ducted AC that is found along this side which is the living area and then they have a segregation here that works along the whole of the corridor and there is another duct AC right for the dining area. What the owners have done is to change this to like a dry kitchen concept of which they have a compact class all throughout for this countertop. This is where they place this very exquisite, very detailed coffee machine here. You can see all their tools right over here and this is a water dispenser. Right below there's also this built-in uh, wine cellar so if you're someone that enjoys wine this likely is going to be here as well. Then on both sides you do have some storage space with soft closing. Right in front here, they have placed like a six seater for them to host all their friends. Likely if you need a bigger table, probably you want to find those folding table type that allows you to expand and then probably you can add in more chairs to host your friends. Right, let's head on to the kitchen. Nowadays, you know that young couples, they like this open concept kitchen. But what if you want a combination of a closed kitchen, but with an open concept, then you can do what they have right over here. They built in this glass sliding door that allows you to just open up like that. If you do not want the films to get out of the kitchen, then you just need to close it. There already is a sliding door for you to close up the kitchen. You have this beautiful L-shaped, like a marble kind of countertop. At the bottom, you have plenty of storage spaces off with soft closing for you to put all your utensils, all your bowls. You have your stove together with a built-in microwave and oven plus the hot. What I really love about this kitchen is that the other side of it, you still do have some countertop space for you to do some meal preparation. They have a dual sink here of which there are still windows over here. They have a dedicated area for your fridge. Right behind is where you can find the yard. You do have a more than enough space for you to put your washer and dryer. That already is a drying rack. Right beside you have a powder room plus a home shelter which acts like a helper's room as well. 
So before I bring you throughout the rest of the home tour, if you're looking for a four bather, I mean, you want it to be of a very generous size, 1,700 over square feet, then you want to compare against like what are the other options in the surrounding that you can choose from. There's Hazel Park Condo nearer to Cashew MRT Station. Those are a triple nine year this whole POP in 2001. The four bathers are 1,500 over square feet, asking at $2.6 million. Nearer to Hillview MRT Station, there is Hilton Green, triple nine leasehold as well, POP in 2003. The four bathers there are above 1,600 over square feet with a price tag of 2.8 to $2.9 million. You can also find the petals. This is a freehold project. Four bathers are at 1,600 over square feet. The price tag is at $2.5 million. There is also Chantilly Rice. This is a freehold project built in 1998. The four bathers are 1,700 over square feet with a price tag of $2.57 million. Last but not least, if you are looking for only a four bather in Park Natural itself, there is only one listing that's available for sale. There is a four bather patio unit. And because of the size, which is slightly bigger for the patio space, the four bather is at above 2,000 over square feet, asking at a quantum of over $3.1 million. So where we are standing on is a four bather, 1743 square feet to have a four bed, three bath. This is well under $3 million, which is way below $2,000 PSF. So back to our home tour, let me show you the first bedroom first. So what you want to note is that all the bedrooms come with parquet flooring, so all these are still in very pristine condition. For this bedroom here, slightly different and special thing is that this grants you the same access to the balcony which you share in the living room, so it allows like a full-fledged kind of daylight to be coming through. So right across, you do have like a three-panel full-height wardrobe. So as you can see here, this room is super underutilized. They have used this as a piano room or like a workstation here. So if you want to change this back into a fully functional bedroom, you can certainly do so by placing a super single size bed right at this portion and perhaps a study table right over here for one of your kids. So right across you have a common bathroom. I think what you want to note is this is a very spacious common bathroom. Like this kind of size is what you will usually see for a new launch master on kind of size. So they have a dedicated wash area here. Right behind me you have a WC. They have a nicely glassed up portion that will be the wet area. It comes with your shower set and not forgetting there is a window for ventilation that allows you to dispel all the moisture. So along the corridor, you see these four panels of carpentry here. This is the DB box. Goodness, this is by far the biggest DB box that I have seen. And what it means for you is that you have additional storage to put in more shelves and then cover up to put all your luggages and stuff. On to the second common bedroom. So as of now, you can tell this cute little place is for one of the kids here. This is entirely customized. So if you're wondering like where you can buy this, no, you cannot buy this. This one must be custom made, okay? You cannot find it anywhere. So what you want to see here is that this is of a squarish layout. Right at the corner, there is already a three panel wardrobe. Size wise, I think it can comfortably fit a queen size. So one thing you want to know is that this comes with a bay window. If you are someone that appreciates like functionality, likely what you want to do is to customize a platform bed that uses like part of the bay window as the platform and then you can put in your super single or even fit in a queen size that allows you to fit your study table right at this corner. The special feature about this four bather condo is that even though two of them are common bedroom, the other one is a junior master which comes with an attached bathroom which I will show you later. But of this size over here, currently they have put in a loft bed so the kid will sleep upstairs and then they have a study table right at the bottom. So if you want to change this back to the usual bedroom concept, this is likely where you can fit in your queen size plus a side table. And at this portion of the bay window is likely where you can customize and make it into a study desk and this will be a workstation. Okay, so orientation for this window here is towards the north orientation. So one thing you want to note, there is not going to be any afternoon sun at all in this entire unit. If let's say you're more worried towards like having your own privacy, likely what you want to do is just to frost up the window so that it doesn't compromise on the daylight coming 
in through. For the attached ensuite, very generous in size. Behind me, you have your WC plus the basin. They have a huge wet area. Take a look at the material over here. This one is of a granite type. It kind of feels like very modern. So all these are still in very pristine condition. Likely you can keep that. If you realize that all the bathroom here actually comes with a window, I think that's quite important for you if you want to like maintain the whole bathroom in the house. Last but not least, you have the highlight of the whole unit, which is the master room. This is going to be the grandmaster room. So just take a look at the sheer size of it. Number one, this is of a very squarish layout. Number two, you have the second balcony right over here that is not accessible from your main living area. Invisible grills have been done. So if you realize two of the balconies here are inner facing towards the south. As of now, the owners have fitted in a queen. There is still space for you to put two sides table. One of the new addition is they have this two panel sliding wardrobe to fit in all the clothes. Is it enough? Hmm, maybe let's say if it's not enough for you, then welcome to the walk-in wardrobe. Right, so there is a nice segregation here, whether it's going to be the Mr. or Mrs. clothes, or maybe just all of them uh, belongs to the wife. So you have the master ensuite, which is the biggest bathroom over here because there is a bathtub. I think this is very precious for you to note because nowadays with condos getting smaller and smaller, they kind of compromise a lot on the aesthetic, on the space that you can enjoy as a couple. So I think this is going to be great if you have kids, they can enjoy the bathtub over over here. The whole flooring and the walls are all cladded with marble, still in very good condition. So likely you can keep that as it is. They have your usual basin plus the WC and they have a dedicated wash area which is nicely glassed up. This comes with a rain shower also. So that's what you want to note. And there is also a window. Come to the end of this home tour if you have liked what you have seen so far. Just a quick summary, this is a 4 bather in Park Natura, 1743 square feet in total and this is way bigger than all the new launches that you can find in Beauty World MRT station. We are only 3 bus stops away from the MRT. The price tag is only at $2.88 million. That translates to only about $1,600 in terms of PSF. If you'd like to arrange for a viewing, do contact our listing manager Kevin and Jay. All the descriptions are down below in the box. If you like our home tour videos please like and subscribe to our youtube channel we can also be found on facebook instagram as well as tiktok once again my name is Chesley. property lim brothers always happy to show you the place so the, the kids can just walk no la the kids don't walk into the floor pan and the specific it's dual balcony it's supposed to end there right this one really look like an art piece never knew like TV frames now can be so tint. Shit, just now I wanted to see the orientation. Why not I need my phone? Whee! Mm. Let's head on to the first 